How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be building the Death Star 2 from Bondi. It is at 1 to 2 million 700,000 scale. I am also going to be showing you an in-depth tutorial on how I work with the LED filaments. I've gotten a lot of requests for this tutorial, so I hope it is informative and that you enjoy this video. I found this acrylic box. It is for a softball, but was the perfect size for this Death Star. I began by drilling a small hole where the laser will come out of the Death Star and then cut away some plastic to make sure there was a clear path for all of the wiring. After that I primed it black and got it ready for painting. I'll list all the paints below but pretty much only used one shade of grey from Vallejo and made it either darker with a black or lighter with white. I then painted some of the individual panels to add some dimension and detail. While that was drying, I moved on to the lighting. You're going to start with a 12 volt LED filament bulb. I would highly discourage using anything high voltage for this. It can be far too dangerous. You will want to understand how a light bulb works. The power comes into the light bulb through the bottom portion here, and then it exits through the threaded portion here. You're going to want to cut open all of this metal to get to the driver. Do it very carefully so you don't ruin anything. Also, do this before you break the glass, otherwise you won't have anything to hold on to that won't cut your fingers. Please do be careful with these sharp metal pieces as well. At the very end, you're going to want to remove the last little bit of metal at the bottom. This will be connected with the neutral. Go ahead and snip that off carefully. After that, you're going to want to disconnect the driver from the two wires that run to the LEDs. Most of the rest of this stuff will come off very easily just by removing the tape. The best way that I've found to break this bulb while keeping it clean and contained is to cover it with a paper towel and then use the wire cutters at the bottom to just snip a hole. Usually the hole is big enough to be able to remove this stem that holds all the LEDs. The next step is to remove all the LEDs from the stem. You can do this by snipping both sides very carefully. They are very fragile. And after that's done, dispose of all your broken glass very carefully. At the end of your light bulb farming, you should have harvested one driver and as many LEDs as were in the bulb. Next, you're going to need a USB cord and as much wire as you need for your project. Next, you are going to want to remove the old wires from your driver. This insulated wire right here is where the red wire will go. The other one, which was attached to the threaded portion of the bulb, is where the black wire will go. You're going to do the same thing with the other side. Remove the old wires and then add the red to the positive and black to the negative. After that's done, you should be able to plug in your USB 
and your positive and negative leads should be able to power up a filament. I am just going to be using one filament for this project, but you can wire multiple together. They will work as long as they're in parallel, just like is seen in my X-Wing TIE Fighter video. All of the stiff copper wire you see in my videos is enamel coated. I've gotten a few comments from concerned people thinking that I'm just using uninsulated copper wire. Don't worry, I am not running electricity through <laughs> uninsulated copper wire. I found that the base of this uh, little electric tea candle was the perfect thing to house the driver and it also came with a nice little switch that I integrated into this build. It's always good to test your circuit as you go. That way you're not uh, getting far along and having to rip the project apart to find a loose connection or something like that. I masked off the ends of the filament and sprayed it with a matte varnish. And then I used a clear green paint for this. I found that the filament itself does not take paint very well, but with the varnish, it did just fine. I had left a little extra room on the wire. And then I pulled that back through once it was soldered in place. I also spray painted the underside of the acrylic plate at the bottom. I really like the way that the glossy black looks. These acrylic cases are nice. You can flip over the project and use it as a little stand so you can solder the bottom and not ruin anything. I tried multiple ways to light up the converging lasers at the base of the main laser. Couldn't get any of them to look very good, so I will save that for another time. As for this project, that's it. That is it for this video. Hope that tutorial was helpful. If you make anything using that technique, let me know. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. I will see you next time.